How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Tennessee Titans Seattle Seahawks preview video. And as you see, I don't have the Titans hat on now. I had it on last week. Uh, I had it going on for the first couple weeks of the season because every game we played very well with Jake Locker at the helm. Did I try it? I tried keeping it on there with Ron Fitzpatrick, but it didn't work. So as long as Ron Fitzpatrick is at quarterback, I think I'm going to keep it off and uh, wait till Jake Locker comes back, see if that can bring the luck back. But uh. I'm going to be playing an honest, uh, playing an honest, I'm going to be uh, completely honest in this video how I think this game is going to go down, and uh, start, for starters, I think this game would be completely different if Jake Locker would be the starter and if he was still healthy, but with Ron Fitz, Fitzpatrick at the helm, I'm not too confident whatsoever. Uh, first of all, Seattle is extremely tough to beat, let alone playing at home. They have maybe the best home field environment in all the NFL, so that's going to be tough. Um, on its own right there, and uh, we it's, we saw last week it was a struggle throwing the football, and that was expected. We hadn't been that great throwing the football before, but Jake Locker had limit, had not thrown a pick. He had picked up the pace, had a big game against the Chargers, and he had, was having a big game in the game. He, uh, what game did he get hurt in? Uh, frick, what game did he get hurt in? I, I can't even remember. God, but uh, in that game he was playing really well, so. Um, and the thing is that the the Seahawks are extremely, extremely good against the pass. They're third in the NFL, only allowing 194 yards per game through the air. And with a struggling uh, quarterback and Ron Fitzpatrick, a second stringer, that's that's going to be bad. So we're going to have to run the football, which wasn't that wasn't um too great last week. That's probably our worst performance run in the football week all season. And uh, I'm, that credit to Kansas City, they have a great, great defense front seven, but we still should have ran better than we did. But I, I could see us having a little bit of success. Seattle's not that great against the run, but they might be able to stack the box with how how bad I believe our our uh, passing game will struggle. And I think it's really going to be bad. Because I think Ron Fitzpatrick will turn the ball over a lot, and that's something we can't do. We're not we're not a bad team by any means. We're 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 good. I think we really are. I think our defense is very good. So we're not we're not, not going to blow anybody out, and if we want to win ball games, we got to be very very uh, good and very uh, just very good in the turnover margin. With Ryan Fitz, Fitzpatrick quarterback, but with all the turnovers, that's uh, I don't think that can be the case in this game. I think Seattle's just way too good. Russell Wilson's a heck of a quarterback. Marshawn Lynch is a heck of a running back. So they have a bunch of talent on offense. I mean, the wide receivers are pretty good themselves. Uh, Doug Baldwin, Golden Tate, and and, uh, and company. So it's uh it's gonna be tough. And um, a way out. If you want to say common opponents or bring that out at all, you have we played the Texans and was beat. We we could have won that game, but we got beat. And uh, regardless, it was close. Seattle played the 49ers and demolished them 29 to three. And then. 49ers play the Texas and Texans and demolished them last week, so that's a little common opponent theory right there. So that doesn't go in our favor. Um, but the, as of as, so far throughout the season, the uh, the Seahawks have been that great through the air thus far, but they haven't had to rely on that because they're off. Their running game has been going crazy. Marshawn Lynch having a heck of a season, like much expected. So he, uh, I think, I think they'll win the game. I think Seattle will win. I uh, don't expect us to lay down uh, easily, though. I think we will be extremely competitive. We might bring this in the fourth quarter, but it all depends on how Ron Fitzpatrick handles the handles the football. Hey, if you if you don't want to throw for 200 yards, that's okay. I if he doesn't throw for two, if he throws for 280 yards and throws two three picks, we're gonna lose this game pretty handily. But if he throws for 150 and no picks, we'll be in this game into the fourth quarter. And uh, but Seattle too much. They'll so find a way. I, I'm not confident at all in Ron Fitzpatrick not throwing picks, and that will, will screw us up big time. So I think Seattle playing at home wins. Uh, a pretty close game, and uh, I'll go. I can't remember what I said in my prediction video I just made, but I'm confident in saying 24, 24 to 17 Seahawks over the Titans. Maybe. 24, 27 to 17, something in that range. So I, I'm just completely honest. Don't want to be a homer by any means. So there we go. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed. There's my preview on the Titan Seattle game. So let me know what you think, how this game's going to end in the comment section below. Let me know your score and prediction for the game. And as always, roll tight, go socks, and go Titans. Do be sure to subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a like. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash s3rtr. Have a great day, guys. That's it. Until next time, peace.